Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So here we have the new toy. Here we have the old Husqvarna Rancher 61. I don't know what date it is. I haven't looked up the serial number. Um, 22 or 4 inch bar. I think it's 24. It measures to be 22 or something like that. But um, I've been using this for years. This doesn't work. No safety. Um, it's heavy. I weighed it, it's almost 19 pounds. I'll put a photo in here next. And to me, that was just all that I knew because I've never shopped for a new saw or thought about one or used anybody else's. So, got a load of logs, split a load with the neighbor on some big wood, trying to cut it with that thing and just kind of wasn't working that great for me. So I figured it's time to spend some money if we're gonna be serious about this stuff. And this came home. So I did a bunch of research. Neighbor has a 391 steel. And online, they don't seem to be the most popular machine. So I don't know what the steel numbers stand for. This is a 362CM. It has a little bit smaller motor, but more horsepower. It's about a pound lighter than the 391. This is 11 point four or six don't quote me so quite the upgrade i got the 25 inch bar um yeah i haven't even ran it yet so what we're going to do next here oh here's where i got it from if you're in washington woods logging supply dan's the man down there um knowledgeable super friendly tips help all that jazz um yeah couldn't be happier at this point but um it's been in the 80s to 90s here lately, and we're going to go outside before the sun gets too warm, fire it up for the first time, and start working on the break-in. So, let's get it. All right, one other thing I got with this sweet saw is, you know, if you buy a new one, if you buy their oil, or if you buy their moto mix, it doubles the warranty from two to four years. Um, I went this route. Dan said that... Um, gas even non-ethanol doesn't last more than 30 days which i've had that stuff last years so far but in this saw i think i might just run this all the time for the peace of mind because it was not cheap and we'll see how that works out all right guys here we go we're gonna do the first start pretty soon here i'm gonna grab a log with my trusty branson check out my video on that um as you guys know pull the throttle in hold the choke down let go of the throttle choke is on pull it don't forget your compression release pull it till she pops and then once you squeeze the trigger here or once it runs it automatically goes to the run position so if you're watching this i'm sure you know that if not now you do so here's what we're getting after some of those pretty big the bass over there pretty big so you can see here we've got some good sized chunks. So that's why I wanted the big bar, because we're gonna do some cutting. So without further ado, let me grab a log with the tractor here and we'll get after it. All right guys, here we go. Maiden run on the new steel 362 CM. So choke on. Release the trigger, didn't stay. Pull the trigger, choke down, there it stayed. Compression release in. Wow, it's easy to pull.
Okay, make sure we're still rolling. First impressions, very snappy throttle. That was a cold start. I can't believe how easy it started. Um, the power, tons of power. I'm very happy with that. This is not the softest wood. I don't remember what it is, but my old saw was struggling with power. I'm super happy with this choice. Um, yeah, couldn't say anything more. So let's keep cutting. All right, let's cut this bad boy up. Now they say you need choke all the time unless you immediately shut it off, um, but let's try it without. Compression release in, it's on run, it's always on run. guys get you one dude this thing's a beast even with that 25 inch uh, bar on it amazing I couldn't be happier all right guys this one's got a little bigger base over there so let's go around and check that out be the next one to buck up with the steel may 
I'm, I'm kind of waiting to get my other pile down before I get onto these big boys. Maybe I'll make a second video, but the base of this one's pretty big. So it should be a pretty good test. All right, here we go again. So no choke, compression valve. that thing is cutting and the power big comes up
I'm about done here for today. I got stuff to do, but parting thought. Um, I'll do a long-term review on this maybe in six months or next year, but I, I, I can't say enough good about it. You know, research and saws, everything is so sketchy. Um, you never know what all the armchair warriors are going to say. Um, I couldn't be happier with this purchase so far at this point because it's working amazing. Um, more than enough power for me big bar I did put a skip tooth on there let me know your thoughts on those um, just wow I can't believe it starts first pull every time I've seen other people say you got to choke it not true low vibration more than enough power um, yeah this is 2022 um, it's gonna be August here pretty soon it's the end of July and brand new saw and unbelievably happy with it give woods a call talked to Dan he said they ship stuff as well so you could uh, get stuff shipped but just the amount of time it saved me today and no struggling um, some of these other pieces I was cutting with my old saw and it was just it had no balls this thing is just um, unbelievable I can't say enough good about it so far so if you guys found this useful please give me a thumbs up if you got any comments for me please leave them below I read them all and uh, yeah in closing could not be happier i will say that fancy gas that i bought smells really good kind of reminds me of race gas but good to know that the saw is always going to be happy so like comment subscribe check out the links down below in the description if you're interested in anything i've got a a wood meter water a moisture tester there too and uh lots of other cool things like the review of my tractor so appreciate you guys watching this catch you in the next one peace out